Well, now on to another ongoing series this month, Natural Ways to Increase Energy for Women. Dr. Trudy Pieper returns with more natural health options that could be the needed components to add pep to your step. Now there's another pain um, option that you, you suggest um, that starts with a B. It does, it's Boswellia. And Boswellia is a unique pain re remedy because of its ability to affect a, a certain pathway of inflammation. It's called 5-LOX and it's found in chronic diseases like arthritis. If you have osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, um, you'll hear your doctor talk about there's a pathway to pain to do that. And again, NASAIDs are usually prescribed for that. Boswellia will go in and actually stop that pathway so that the pain, you don't feel the pain from that. So it blocks it. Um, it's also good for irritable bowel syndrome in all autoimmune diseases. Wow. So it improves, and it basically what it does is, uh, what NASAIDs do are improve the blood flow. The more blood you have flowing, that's what aspirin does. Aspirin improves the blood flow, and the more blood flow, mm -hmm. the less pain you have. So here are options. This is the thing to remember, you have options. There are things other than just those prescription drugs that you've been providing. Now, I'm not asking you to throw those away. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't just suddenly change your doctor's orders, but you know, let's think about these things that God has provided and, and look to someone like Dr. Trudy who can give you some other options that provide some of these natural things that our bodies are just more designed for. Right. Now, the next thing you're gonna talk about though, God has given these to us and we women <laughs> have messed up ones left and right, up and down. We're talking about hormones. Hormones, and, and talk about an energy zapper. If you have PMS, you know, you are, uh, your energy is low, you're, you're combating all the signs, you're heavy, heavy bleeding, you're heavy cramping, you feel irritable, you're moody, um, all those things. And then you go to the other end of the spectrum and you have menopausal symptoms. So hormones can really affect your body and your energy. And I'd just like to suggest, you know, one thing that I know for sure makes a big difference on either end of that spectrum. And it's something we call DIM, D-I-M, and it's di n o Die in only nothing. That's quite a mouthful. It's actually made, again, we talk about God's plan for plants, cruciferous vegetables. So if you buy dim, it's like eating 100 broccoli in each pill. Oh, really? <laughs> and the cruciferous vegetables, what they do is they rid the body of excess estrogens. PMS symptoms are caused by uh, having too much estrogen in your body. And so removing those will make a big difference in helping you feel better during your PMS time. It also, and this is something that's good for, for everybody, is that it, resi it rids the body of xenoestrogens. And we've heard a lot about those in the news. And what they are, those are man-made chemicals that mimic mm -hmm. estrogen. And what they can do, they usually cause weight gain, PMS symptoms, uh, trigger early menopause, uh, cause men to have breasts. Uh, so all of these things, these xenoestrogens that are man-made uh, will, will cause us to get into our system. So we want to remove those. The DEM will do that. Um, you find them, you say, well, how do you get all those xenoestrogens in your body? Where do they come from? Jennifer, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. They use them to fatten up livestock. They use them in plastic bottles, um, especially if you have a plastic bottle that's with a water bottle that's been sitting in the sunshine. They, it releases that mm -hmm. into the water. Uh, they're found in the lining of cans, canned food liners have the xenoestrogens in them. Nail polish remover, most cosmetics, car exhaust, cleaning supplies. So we are bombarded with xenoestrogens everywhere. And so we wonder why our, our, our daughters are starting having their cycles at seven or eight now. Um, they've just gotten so much estrogens in their body, it's kind of tricked their body in thinking, okay, it's time to do this. And, and boys are having and more acne cases. Uh, acne in both young men and women are caused by having too much estrogen in your body. And amazing to think that, that even though some of these are, are newer things, some of the things that our, our culture has created, yet God created way back at the beginning of time, the natural supplements that could be needed to help reverse these things. Right, and, and it's, the cruciferous vegetables are not popular vegetables. If someone's gonna eat, they're gonna have corn or maybe green beans. <laughs> but if you're eating cruciferous vegetables on a regular basis, and that's cabbage family, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, radishes, um, all of those uh, are wonderful cruciferous vegetables that carry this dim in them, which will help you control your extra estrogen in your body. 
So getting back to good, healthy diets, eating all the foods that God gave us, will make a difference in our body. Hmm. Excellent. We're always thankful for Dr. Trudy here at TV44. What you may not know is that before Dr. Trudy became a doctor, she helped nonprofit organizations with major fundraising projects. TV44 first met Dr. Trudy during the Transforming Lives Capital Campaign, which allowed us to transition into digital high definition broadcasting. So as you might find yourself thanking Dr. Trudy for her medical wisdom, you can also thank her for her dedication to Christian organizations like ours an important factor in your ability to even watch us on TV today. And with that, we are out of time for this week's show. Know that we're praying for you this week. We encourage you to continue your commitment to the 2017 Faith Challenge. Read your Bible every day. Find time to talk to God in prayer every day. And be willing to search your heart and mind for unresolved issues. Take those issues before the Lord. Repentance, an important step to freedom. And we all need to experience inner freedom. There's no better way to achieve that than a true relationship with Jesus. Until next week, for Jennifer, Mark, and myself, thanks for joining us this week on Faith and Friends.